Hi, I'm Jim Seitzer with Banbell. If you're watching this video, you recently purchased standard Rhinoflex, the HD Rhinoflex bar, or the white Rhino. We're going to show you with this video how to load these bars safely, talk to you about their weight limit capacity, and show you how to load them properly so you get a lot of years of good service, great work out of these bars. The Rhinoflex bar only weighs about seven pounds, so it's light. So if you load one side and don't think about the other, you're going to get a flip like this. The first plate, push it all the way in, so that the weight is very, very close to the upright. This keeps the weight right on the upright. The other side stays right in place. And this plate you can put wherever you want because we're already balanced out. Flip it off, always use collars or spring clips. The bar will handle any kind of a collar or spring clip available on the market today. Flip it down, weight's in place, you're ready to go. The standard Rhino Flex bar has a 300 pound weight limit. If you stay within this limit and put the plates on the bar the right way, you'll get a lot of years of service out of this bar and it will do for you what you really want, which is take the stress off the joints and put all the weight into the muscle. So with lighter weights, you want to get the best flexion out of the bar, best feeling in the joints and the muscle at the same time. We can bring a 45 pound plate all the way out, flip it off to the edge, it's good. Moving up with weight, you can take two 45 pound plates, bring it all the way out, flip it off with a lock jaw or spring clip, you're good to go. So once we go past two 45 pound plates, you gotta start moving the weight in. It's for the safety of the bar and it's to keep you in the sweet spot of flexion. You can get too much whip with this bar, you don't want that. So we want just the right amount of flexion that does best for the joints and the muscles at the same time. Going above two 45 pound plates, we start sliding the weight in to the center. So we can add another 25 for instance, it could be a 10, we use a 25, we'll clip it off at the first ring and you're good to go. Anything past two and a half 45 pound plates, everything goes in up against the orange stop. So we're going to add weight now and all the weight is in towards the center. Great flexion, feels terrific in the muscles, very safe for the bar, you're good to go right up to the 300 pound weight limit. So when we go to unload the bar, it's basically loading in reverse. I'm just kind of pull it off and be mindful of what's on the other side. And of course, make sure the other side is balanced out so there's no tipping. Keep in mind that the Rhino Flex is not steel. It's tough. It'll do its job for you. It'll last a long time, but it's not steel. You don't want to do rack deadlifts with this. And you want to treat it with a little more respect than you would a steel bar. So kind of give it a little TLC and the bar will last a long time for you. This is the next step up from the standard Rhino Flex. This is the Rhino Flex HD. It's got a 650 pound weight limit on it, carbon fiber knurling that really grips onto on your back if you're squatting with it, and also gives support to the center of the bar. There's the internal construction differences between this and the standard, which makes it a much stronger bar. So if you're a power lifter, tend to do heavier lifts with squats and bench, the HD bar is what you want to go to. The Rhino Flex HD loads just like the standard bar. So if you're loading by yourself, slide the plate all the way in so it's nice and close to the upright. Bar holds fine, won't flip. We'll load this side up, put the plate where you want, clip it off, and you're good to go. Rhino Flex Heavy Duty Bar is just like the standard Rhino Flex. Anything past two and a half plates, or two 45s and a 25, all the plates go in up against the orange stop. Clip it off, you're ready to go. And here's the granddaddy of them all, the white rhino. Unlimited in weight, unlimited in how you can use it. Just remember though, the bar only weighs 10 pounds, so you do have to load it like you would a standard or heavy duty Rhino Flex bar. Slide the plate all the way in. This bar, you can bring weights all the way out. When you're loading or unloading the white rhino, make sure you treat it just like any of the Rhino Flex bars because it will flip. Even though it's just a little bit heavier, it'll still flip. So you wanna bring the first side all the way in like this so the weight's very close to the upright and then you can start loading the rest of the bar. Boom. Boom, baby. This bar is 86 inches long, four inches longer than the standard or the heavy duty. So you've got a longer loading sleeve to get more weight on the bar. Special thanks to Barry's Barbells for letting us use the facility again. Love these guys. And check us out on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Thanks very much.